Hey there, good evening. Thanks for checking out the video forecast online. I'm meteorologist Snow Berggren. Weather Authority Alert is active from 7 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. Saturday. We'll go from top to bottom for the potential of two rounds of storms overnight Friday. The first round is when we have the most concern, when the tornado risk could, could be maximized if we get supercells to form. We'll go through that in a little bit. That would be between 7 p.m. and about midnight to 1 a.m. Then we'll get a second line of storms, uh, probably not supercells, but a cluster or a line of storms with the cold front that will primarily be just a strong, gusty wind, straight line wind threat. Still can't eliminate the chance of an isolated tornado in that second cluster, uh, but that, again, primarily a wind threat. That would happen between, let's say, 2 and 5 a.m. on Saturday morning. Some hail is possible. There will be briefly heavy rain, but hail and flash flooding are not a big concern especially uh, given the fast forward motion that is projected of these storms. As of the recording of this video, which is before midnight Thursday, or th midnight Friday, excuse me, this is before midnight Friday, I'm recording this, much of the area is in that level three, that's the orange risk for severe weather. This will be updated after midnight, so if you're watching this in the middle of the night, this will be updated, you can catch Trent at 4.30 in the morning with an update. It's possible they keep this the way it is, they might shift the colors around a little bit. Could they add a level four? Yes, all things that are possible. But at this point, I think it's more of a technicality than anything else. I think we're pretty locked in with this between, again, seven to nine-ish Friday, 6 a.m. Saturday, winds, tornado, main concerns. Here's the meteorology of the setup, an unusually humid air mass out ahead of a parade of fronts clashing with winter in the Rockies in the Midwest with accumulating snow. That'll pump in some very humid and unstable air. The two opportunities for storms is first this trough, second this cold front from mid-Missouri back into Oklahoma. The one with the highest tornadic potential is this one. The one with the highest chance of there being storms is this one with more of a wind threat. And we'll go through that here slowly. 6 a.m. Friday, cloudy. 10 a.m. Friday, mostly cloudy. A couple of specks of rain, a quick little splash of a shower or a drizzle, be about it. Here's 1 p.m. We start to get a few holes in the cloud cover, and if we do get some holes, that'll only add to the fuel. But despite the cloud cover, there'll actually will be quite a bit of instability moving in because of how anonymously high the dew points are going to get. It will feel humid by Friday evening. Here's 5 p.m. We're good. 7 p.m. We're good. So early evening plans. Not much of a worry. If you've got plans after 7 tomorrow, you need to be aware and prepared of the weather. If you're going to a Christmas party, you're traveling, you're going to a basketball game, you're watching a movie, whatever you are doing, it is in your best interest to have some way of following us or the weather. Tomorrow night is not a night to be totally checked out and unplugged from the weather forecast. Here we go at 8 p.m., 9 p.m. This is the opportunity for that first line of supercells. What we still don't know for certain yet is do we get these storms between 7 and midnight to actually form? If they do, the atmosphere that awaits them is very ripe for severe weather, tornadoes, and possibly even a strong or violent tornado. That's the upside. Could have a bad situation. Let's just be real. There's no use in sugarcoating or alarming anybody. That's the, the top case. The bottom case is that an atmospheric cap, which is a warm layer of air in the lower atmosphere, acts like a boiling pot of water in a lid. So the lid on top of the boiling pot of water and prevents these first rounds of storms, here's 10 p.m., from forming. If that happens, we could dodge a bullet, both of which are equally possible. We don't know yet for certain which one of those two scenarios will happen. So you're just gonna have to check back with us tonight and especially during the day tomorrow. Here's 11, midnight. Whatever happens in that first round will probably be moving out by one to 2 a.m. Then we'll watch the cold front come in. This will be primarily a damaging wind threat, some heavy rain and lightning. Could there be a tornado in this cluster? Sure, but undoubtedly the highest concern for tornadic activity is if we get individual supercells that form earlier in the night. Here's 3 a.m., cold front coming through. 4 a.m., it's pushing east of Hopkinsville. By 6 a.m., it's done, and we're in the all clear. 
So bottom line, you need to have ways, not a way, ways of being notified of a tornado watch, a tornado warning. At this point, I think it's a pretty good bet we're going to have at least a tornado watch issue for the entire area tomorrow night once we get to the dinner time hour. So your family, your kids, your loved ones, your coworkers, let them know, hey, tomorrow you got to be following the weather. Have our app on there. Go purchase a weather radio. Do not be caught off guard tomorrow. Let's just leave it at that. We'll be here to get you through it. I know many have storm anxiety. There's nothing to be worked up about. We've had tornadoes in the cold season, specifically December. It is rare to get two of them in the same week, but this is nothing, you know, out of outer space. We have had tornadoes in December several times before. 53 sunny, breezy Saturday. Pick of the weekend, sunny, dry, 52, 58 Monday, 65 Tuesday. And how about that? We'll challenge a record 70 on the way by next Wednesday. Tune in tomorrow morning to Trent Okerson. He'll have the very latest on our Weather Authority Alert.